Then at PSG. No, 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 no. First they went to it was City, wasn't it? No, no. We went to City. Oh, <laughs> 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 what did I say? Howler. Hey, production. Real that shit. Production. Real that shit. Howler. I may have had a stink. I've been on the show for a minute. You get me? Hey, you talking about poor knowledge? He's talking to me about poor knowledge. About what's his name? Stamp or stamp? Whatever. These guys talking about a player right now. Who's a goalkeeper? And he can't even think about it. Was it Bravo, Bravo. I'm confusing oh, my name with Bravo. Bro, that's <laughs> racism. <laughs> Bravo plays for Chile. Navas is Costa Rican. That's, hey, oh, man, my I'm Chilean bad. fans, Costa Rican fans, at this guy right now. Man, the girl too, Blue yeah, youth. come on. But yeah. Blue youth, <laughs> Blue youth jump, but at him. Colombian, at, at him. Only the guys, but no women. <laughs> Chuck wedding on it, you can charge ten times what you normally charge. Thought I was building you. Ah, that nigga money. Right. You what? <laughs> you what? What are you saying? Good to go. <laughs> yeah, man. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Let me show you back again. Happy to be here, man. Come on. Good morning, <laughs> gang. Come on. We got the the most African blokes on the couch. Come on, we got a we got a. He's back again. I'm back. Back from oh. Sydney. What are you saying, crowd? DSS. Let's go. Sheesh. We haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, heard me in a while, man. What's the handles, man? Who are you? For those that don't know. Who me? Crouch. <laughs> Who am I, man? DG. Sheesh. Deny. Don't change. Government name. What'd you say? That's a Dolce. <laughs> DG, man. <laughs> no crowd. Oh, None of this Dolce shit. Deny. <laughs> government name. We move. Move oh, on. Who you is that, man? man? Fair enough. Paying his tech is slows to a million followers, baby. We're Wait. back. Business as usual. Deny's back. Come I couldn't on. be happier. You know, I was actually surprised when the Queen RP Lizzie. Oh, my. Your go. When she died, they didn't, they didn't ask you to step in. <laughs> The king of Wem Wem, they didn't ask you to step in. Yeah, allow That's it, crazy. we move, man, we move. They got Philip. Hey, trophy came home. Just remember that, yeah? Yeah, the women. The trophy came home. I'm happy for you. Thank you. And two's left. <laughs> Pajon with a B. Normally I'd say uh, Jeff Bozos, but we got Jeff Bozos and what? Elon over there. Yeah, the two richest people, two richest guys I've, I've ever, ever met. met. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh. <laughs> we shouldn't even You know that guy on TikTok That does What's that cost What's that cost yeah. <laughs> 50,000 yeah. I'm a risk Ah shit <laughs> You know that guy That goes to famous people I don't even want to start With you two cause Allegedly Ooh, man, crazy. Crazy. The money's different Allegedly. Money's very different I don't even know What they work But money's different Also First milli Hey First milli on hey. TikTok One milli Congratulations You lot are different man Well done team <laughs> Production, excellent. <laughs> Thanks fans as well. Yeah. yeah. You guys for liking, sharing. And to be honest, most people were agreeing. Yeah. And the haters, congrats. Congrats, man. You Thank got you. us to a milli. But before we, we kick this off, I, what do we, what's the procedure? I've been going for a minute, crowd. Mm -hmm. But the prestigious stays the same. Hit that like button. Mm. Press subscribe. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Notification bell. Praise tell God. your friends to tell your friends to tell your friends to tell their friends. Hey, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I let them shoot because they're doing millies now. <laughs> doing millies. Doing millies now. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're part of that millie, man. A grown community. Let's go. That's it, uh -huh. baby. All right, when we think about football and we think about players in our generation, I think it's normal for us to talk about the best. Who's the best? Who's mm. rated the highest? Who does? You know, mm. who's got the numbers? But let's look at, let's wheel it back and talk about the most underappreciated, underrated, mm. or disrespected. Mm -hmm. Who would be top five? What's, what's the top five starting from five? Who, who, who are the players that we think they didn't get spoken off about? They did a lot that kind of went under the radar or they flew under the radar. Mm. But what's your five, man? What are you saying, bud? So five's the lowest, right? Five's the worst. <laughs> oh. I don't know about my order, innit? So five. We can just say we could just say our five. Just say our five. We'll say oh our five. yeah, that makes think, that makes it better. I think a, a one to five is quite it's quite difficult. So yeah. let's say our five. Our yeah. five that come to mind. Exactly. Our five in order. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> if it's in order, order, does that mean number one's not 
underappreciated. You know, no, it's like confused. The most. It's who you feel is the most underappreciated. Where you're oh, like, okay. wow. Then, yeah, I'll go yeah. five. Yeah. I got this guy in. Uh, it was the last minute I thought, but man, when I thought of him, I was like, wow, this guy's underappreciated a lot. He's bold. Five, two. Played for numerous Premier League clubs. Jermaine Defoe. JD. JD. That's my... I hear you. I hear you. JD's my guy. I had to dig deep for that is one. He, is, he, is he bold? He's not bold. He's uh, shaved head. Okay. Shaved head. 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 When you watch him play, you remember his bold head. Bro, JD is elite. Exactly. He yeah, is great elite, shot. bro. I had to dig deep for that one. Are we saying Jermaine Defoe's elite? JD's elite. Moving off the ball. Hey, finishing. Elite. If he gets I would say ball. very good. Elite bro. is different. JD's moving off the ball. For a small dude like that, pause. Moving off the ball, mm -hmm. elite. Hold up play, decent, <laughs> can finish. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's the best person that gets in on goal with the through ball. He's the only person that he's can finish 100 rapid. Yeah. yeah, Jermaine Defoe, I think he was good. West and Ham, excellent. And, and I bins. think he's under underappreciated. He has bins. So that's that left good foot for volley with for Sunder, was it Sunderland? Yeah. Bins. He went to Toronto, he, went, he turned vegan, went to Toronto, still did his <laughs> thing. And <laughs> when you saw him in that really, really thin Tottenham shirt, the really tight the one. one. The Kappa it's one. It's done. You know You know when he's on, it's done. Mm. That was him and Kane up front? No, Keane. Him and Keane up front? Keane, yeah. yeah. And Bale still left back. <laughs> Holy Dangerous. shit. Nah, nah that's, a that that's a great shout. That's a great shout. I rated him. He was, he, was one of the, he was one of the strikers for me that I used to admire. And you'd always wonder, like, in terms of England, yeah. I feel like players like him, Darren Bent, yeah. I feel like they got the snub. And in terms of what he was able to provide... Yeah. yeah, he was, for me, he was definitely one of the players where you're like. Oh, yeah. I think it was more fans. I think players that play and play with him. They would have uh, said, yeah. They, they always say like, he's mm. he's good, good striker. I co-signed that. Shit, man, that's a good start. Hey, you make one, it man. a bit difficult for me. <laughs> 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 but saying? my one, my number five, he had his best period at Arsenal. When he was in form, this guy for me was one of the best strikers in the Premier League. Played up front, Emmanuel Adebayor. I hear that. I think he's under he's underrated, underappreciated now because of the poor stints he had after uh, after his time at Arsenal. Even but the I think maybe as well. Yeah, and that's, the antics, of course. That's city, yeah. Arsenal fans aren't going to appreciate him as much because of what he did and celebrations against Arsenal, whatever. That's City and Madrid he went to after. Yeah. yeah. And Spurs. Spurs, yeah. He went to Spurs as well. Yeah. yeah. Absolute stinker. Yeah. But men don't care. But when you look at two of those seasons he had at Arsenal, he was elite. He was an elite forward. He could score in any any way. Runs in behind, finishing one on one. He could score headers. He could score back to goal. He was unreal. So I think Adebayo, and that's the reason why he was able to go to so many good clubs because they could definitely see see the, see the talent. But in terms of the way we look at him now and how he's perceived by the crowd and by the audience, he's not rated very highly. Can we say that um, based on like his stats, his output, that he he might have underwhelmed? I or do we think that's a cause of maybe the off the field stuff and the antics? He loved the party, it? didn't he? Yeah, he was, he was a wild guy. And yeah, I mean, yeah. He was. <laughs> two years of greatness though. But he was elite. Yeah. He was elite. In for terms of years. like in terms of what he could do football wise, Adaboy, he had it. Yeah. I remember watching Definitely. him for Arsenal and in terms of his ability to score goals, his movement, scoring. his technical <laughs> his skills, his skill set, he had it. And I feel like, yeah, people don't really talk about players that might have might have gone that extra distance. And I think there was a one season where he was second or third in top goal scoring. Oh no, he was, he was scoring a bit of goals. And if you look at his goal stats at Arsenal, 142 games, 62 goals. This is injury plagued as well. It's like way up, almost a goal. Monaco, 26 goals in 115. Tottenham, 42 goals in 113. 28 goals for Basakshir. Why in in 76, <laughs> 19 in 45 for City. The goals, it's they're pretty high. It's like one every, one every two games. Yeah. yeah almost yeah. one every two games at most of the clubs he's at. One every three games. So he's, yeah. He, yeah, he's I guess, there. yeah. I think the Tottenham thing, they just, mm. 
I still remember that Man City goal though. <laughs> when you sprint as a sprinter. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he's running like this. <laughs> did, you do a, did you do a knee slide as well? And he, he did everything. He did, I think every, in that celebration, he did everything you could possibly do <laughs> to piss off like your your ex club fan. I'm pretty sure he, he did, did the everything. hundred to that in eleven seconds. Yeah, to the crowd. Man, so Jesus. Jesus. Mate, he was bolt. yeah. He was different. That's all right. Me on my side. Now mine's not in order. Uh, yeah, but this player is that a cop out. No, 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 no. Nah, you got to put. You have to put a fist. I can't. Yeah. This player, I'm just going to start spitballing names here. This player has been disrespected on this channel a few times. David Beckham. David Beckham. If we were doing the most overrated list, then he could be- David there. Beckham is underrated, bro. Work rate, there. Technique, there. No one could strike a ball like he could. Sure, Assist numbers are there. Free kick specialist. But nah, people will say, people will chat. And you're one of them people. Yeah, I'm one. Maybe yeah, you, I, you I, could I, say I, I underrate him, but David Beckham is not underrated. He's underrated, bro. He's not. F for me, he's I underrated. Guess, I guess he's how we underrated. look at it is, let's look at his career progression. He went from United straight to Madrid mm -hmm. with arguably the best Madrid, Galact Madrid team Galacticos. ever and started. Mm -hmm. Should he have started? Mm -hmm. And was he at that level of some of the guys in that Bro, team? he was there, bro. He played DM sometimes for them. Those crosses he would to Ronaldo. You seen that that one cross? You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he was he is elite. But people don't people people. I think I think a lot of people will agree with you of how highly you rate him, but I do not think that David Beckham warrants the 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 level he's put at, especially if everyone knows him. Yeah, the, the level he's put at is is next to the best players ever like, to yeah. to touch the Premier League. Yeah, when realistically, that's what I'm talking about. When realistically, that's what I'm talking about he's right he's not that he's not that's not him. No, but you're not him. You're part of an extremely successful team, extremely successful period. You're a good player. At times you great player. At, at times you were great, but you are not one of the best players to ever play in the Premier League. No way. I, I think Beckham would have been rated for. Would have been underrated in terms of his work ethic. Mm, I definitely. think people was lazy. This guy I think yeah. Works. I think people miss. They classified him as like this, like chauvin, chauvinistic. Like you know, I just I don't care about marketing, training. Yeah. I'm marketing. But in terms of work rate, I've heard his work rate was elite. He could finish the beep test. Um, he was the hardest working guy at training. But I Technique. think in terms of like where he's rated against other players as a footballer. I think that's where I can see that he might have been probably overrated. And just so you know, David Beckham could not lace Eden Hazard's boots. That's he could not. And we don't actually know if he's the hardest working player. Like these are all just coming out of training camp. <laughs> <laughs> and so also, when I watch him play, I don't see him working hard. Also, when's the last time you watched David Beckham play? <laughs> who, who would you compare? No, 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 no. Yeah, I, need to, I need to know. I, I go on. <laughs> when's when? the last time you watched David Beckham play? <laughs> For the Galacticos. <laughs> when? Wait, what, what era was this? I know you weren't watching football back then. Sheesh. <laughs> what are we talking about? Is this after he shaved his head bald, yeah. married a Spice Girl? I'd say 2007. Yeah. How old were you? Maybe like. How old was I? I was yeah. seven. <laughs> 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 All right. But if. Okay. So tell me, if, if David Beckham played in the Premier League right now, who would he be? Like, what, what player would you compare him to? McGinn. Shut the hell <laughs> No, I'm not even being Because realistically, what... McGinn works hard. Could David Beckham play in the Premier League now? 100% And be successful uh -uh. the same way he was then? No, not a chance in hell. Yeah. What I, position would he play? I think it's hard to... I think it's hard to compare the expectation of that era and the type of football United played then. But in terms of abilities... I don't know. I don't know. Like, who's he playing? Is he going to play? They don't. No one plays the right mid. He's not going to play right wing back. And he's not going to play right forward. Yeah. Now as well. He's not going to play centre mid because you know he doesn't have it. He could play DCDM. Yeah. Uh, for, who? for who? Aston Villa, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. McGinn. He's not playing. He's not playing. He's not playing top level. Why? Why? <laughs> why what? What's wrong with being like McGinn? Since he's so good. Shut the hell up, bro. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing, bro. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. David Beckham can play in the Premier now. He can play on the wing. What you've named are key attributes McGinn has. Hard worker. <laughs> Shut the yeah. fuck up. 
Hard worker, yeah. finish beep test. Yeah. What else? Whipping good balls. Whipping yeah. good balls. Runs up every time. That sounds like John plays, McGinn. Can that's play, what John McGinn plays in the midfield. Yeah, can play like as well. But there you go. That's John McGinn. You're not having a stinker, man. You're not, don't, you're not underrating what David Beckham's good at. Yeah. Harvey Barnes. The fact that we're talking about David Beckham and Harvey Barnes just man. highlights my point. Harvey, Harvey Barnes, Barnes, Barnes suits the modern game better than David Beckham. And he's Beckham. Highlights my point. It highlights my point. One on one on goal. I'm picking Harvey Barnes. <laughs> of course, of course. You are. exactly. So you're gonna pick right. someone. Just, but do you, you want someone to just? Me? Do you just want someone to just yeah. whip in set pieces now? If I could pick David Beckham in my team, where is he gonna play? Hey, in a modern so game. Right now, you okay? When we can, when this question came up, we were talking like about trend. generational. Now you're trying to fit him into 2022 football. Yeah, uh, but we, we got to wrap this up. We got to wrap yeah. this up. <laughs> you can't <laughs> sculpt him anymore. He's we, really we, done. We, yeah, but I, I, from, I think. Ultimately, the football then, the football now. It's different. Hard. David Beckham's not even better than Paul Pogba, so he's not even better oh than Ozu. God. And and look at where Paul Pogba's oh put in. And Ozu no, probably no. the last. I'm gonna, like I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna do, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna push out my pick. Um, for me, this guy, I think it's underrated how long he's played for and the level he's played for, and I think his impact in this team has been massive. And I'm gonna say Thomas Muller. Yeah, I nice. think for me as a footballer, he, he he flies under the radar because he's not like a he's not the technical wizard mm. like some of the other midfielders that you know get the the love and the limelight. Oh, yeah. But in terms of what he's done consistently year after year at the, the highest level, his breakout year at the World Cup, I think we got to give this guy. I think he deserves more credit than mm. he really gets in terms of people that are nice. Yeah, in his position. I 100% agree, I agree yeah. That, I, I remember I was talking about who were the best worst, who were the worst best players. And for me, Thomas Muller is, is the worst <laughs> best player. That, because explain to me how someone with his technical ability, his awareness, his whatever, his like ability on the ball can play the number 10 role so successfully and be so successful. It's, it's like astonishing. There's no way another player with that technical ability could come in and play number 10 and played there for 10 years for one of the best teams in the world and best countries in the world. So Thomas Muller has somehow, he's done it. his movement, his, his, it must, it must just be his movement, his work rate and his IQ. And his ability to read the game. Yeah. Like, I feel like he gets into such good positions. Yeah. Regularly like in your life. You can score and you can, you can create chances. Because I didn't like so. this guy for years. Yeah, no, I me think too. now I'm realizing that. Mate, to be able to play at that level Definitely. in that team yeah. Definitely. for that long in Germany as well. Definitely. And I don't, I, don't, no, the, the Germany bit's a bit. No, like, no, the German national right. team. National team. Okay. <laughs> so Bundesliga. Mm, and can I say, he's, he's, he's the guy that started low, so, low shin guards. <laughs> 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 Couldn't be. By accident. He'd been doing it. <laughs> By accident. He only, he only did it because he's working so hard and doing slide tackles exactly. that his socks are going down. He started down. it. He started that movement. <laughs> nah, he used to. But yeah. What are you saying, man? What are you saying, bud? My number four. I got it right here. You got doing orders and shit. My number four is uh is another bold player. <laughs> Hard working. Played centre back for a very great side. Uh goes to Miranda. That's oh, it. Atletico Madrid Miranda. Yeah. Centre back. <laughs> this list is very <laughs> Hit me out, hit me out. Oh my man. man. I thought when, he, I thought you said more people. Yeah. Uh, Miranda who? Who can I say? I Miranda like, Cosgrove? Oh, High five. Uh, go, nah. go, go, let no production when you edit this year. Wheel to everybody's faces on that one. <laughs> yeah, we were so confused. <laughs> listen, listen. Like, that was the end. Because I looked at you. I was, I was like, like, wait, I was like, what? what? Because I don't know his other name. He's just Miranda. <laughs> you know Brazilians, man, yeah, they do yeah. they, they got some weird thing. But Miranda, I've put him in at number four because when when Atletico won that league, when mm. Barca and Real were just like just going back and forth, um, when Atletico won that league, everyone was just talking about the the keeper, Godin, um, Diego Costa, Diego Costa, okay. not really, yeah, not really thinking about the player next to Godin that kept. That kept it real back there, you know. I think he I think he was man. definitely he <laughs> he definitely benefited from the system 100%. from being such a defensive system. Yeah, because at one point they were they were probably the best defense in Europe in all of Europe. That's how they got to the Champions League final. Yeah. That's how they won the La Liga, and him and Godin probably one of the top three pairings in 2014. I'd say ever. I'm gonna ask you a question: When a team plays that defensively, mm. right? That the setup is purely like. Defend, defend, defend. 
is there a tax on the actual defenders or is it the system? Because there's another player who plays really, really well in a defensive lineup and we shun him. Who is that player? Maguire. In the defensive lineup, Maguire, if you say sit on the 18 yard box, yeah. head the ball when it comes, don't run because you can't turn. I agree with He's you. He's great. I think there Leicester, is- Leicester, England, yeah. great. But, but when you have to, when he actually has to play defending on a move, on the move, yeah, I terrible. I agree in terms of there's a tax in the system, but mm. I feel as though when he was part of that system and how successful they were and how successful he was, I feel like you have to give him some form of credit. I don't know if he deserves to be in this top five list, but oh, he definitely does. But yeah, he definitely does. <laughs> I I see your argument. Sort I of. think when 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 you say Harry Maguire, I think. Don't say, I'm not saying Harry, I'm just saying that the, yeah, yeah, I, I, there. I get what, what saying. you're saying, but I'm saying like Harry Maguire is the name of the defense for United, whereas he wasn't really for no reason when he was just as good as Godin or mm. more as consistent. So is, is your argument that he's, his presence to the team was, was had a big influence in terms yeah, of that 100%, side being yeah. so good? Having a, like a defensive block, you have to be really like, you have to be good. Obviously. Resolute. So for it to work, both players have to be like both. Se- all, f- all four have to be elite. Yeah. And defense- defensively. Defensively, they had Juan yeah, Fran, exactly. Felipe Luis, Godin. And, so and I'm Miranda. saying, why is it that the other three are getting more of a, a shout than the, the, the other I one? Can, I can yeah. hear it. I hear yeah. it. don't think he I deserves it, but I can yeah. hear it. Um, for me, this one, this is a bit better, I think, because... <laughs> this player, <laughs> better how, better this player, player, this is just a better shout. This player is one of the most disrespected players of all time. For me, he's one of the, the greatest technical, technically gifted players I've ever he's seen. Really he's a number 10. He spent time at Madrid. He spent time at Arsenal. Uh, oh. Mesut Ozil. I, was in, I have him on my list too. <laughs> because for me, if you if you watch Mesut Ozil play, he gets he gets criticized for not for working. not not working hard, for not showing up in big games. As a footballer, there are not many there are not many midfielders number 10s that you can say are better than Ozil. His vision is his vision nuts. Is his yeah. vision is insane. The way he can control the game from the number 10 position it's nuts. is incredible. And I think it's he's a he's a how do I say this? He's a prisoner to a system. Of course. He's yeah. a prisoner to a system, but he was, he was so system heavy that it needed to be this exact system. When he broke into, broke into the scene with Germany in that 010 World Cup, mm. amazing. Went on to an amazing career at Madrid. Right, that Ronaldo link up, where I was like, don't sell this guy. And they mm. obviously sold him onto Arsenal. Mm. Almost Arsenal changes the way Arsenal play for the better, but didn't have the tools around him like he had at Madrid and that lot there. Then a system change happens, coach change happens. And then it's like, oh, Ozil doesn't run. But mm. you look at the numbers, he's still doing case. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's just not recognized. It's just not recognized. Mm. He's not always on the ball. He's not always in them pockets. But yeah, now I hear that still. He's and on I, that list too. I think it's also when when you're that type of player, I think that's when your your criticism becomes so un, unjustified because mm. I think there's an expectation that because you like to play, you like to use the ball, you like yeah. to be on the ball, that there's less focus on your work rate or your ability to do things on the other side. And I think that's what happened to Ozil. Definitely. Yeah, he might've been a product of football changing to a more transition-based style of playing. You can see And it. maybe like tens being less effective. Mm-hmm. But I think in terms of like what he brought to the game and his abilities, it's- It's, it's, it's was a, insane. Do you it think was insane. Like, if he never came to England, we wouldn't be having this conversation? Um, well, I think- uh, Yeah, you go. You go. I think- his time at Madrid, he, he was definitely, inc- he was incredible. Yeah. But it got to a point where Mourinho and him were yeah. disagreeing yeah. and they there were questions about his work rate and can he fit into a side that where the, the system is more important than his position and he can fit into what the coach wants him to do exactly. And I think when you have players like that, you've, you, you see with other players that you have to build around those players and you have to work the team around what that player can do. Because if you have someone like Mesut Ozil in your team, you have to play to his strengths. Absolutely. There's no way you're going to go and, and play transition or go and play where you just hit the hit the wide players early or hit the forwards early and just bypass him. And Madrid at that time were the best counter-attacking team in, in the world. So I think it was difficult for him to really show exactly what he could do. And then at Arsenal, I do think his time at Arsenal 
was some some of his, if not his best years. Yeah, I think with Arsenal, <laughs> if we had better, if we had, if he had better support, if he had a better nine, yeah. a clinical nine, his his assist, yeah, that sort of been like. It would have twenty assists. Like twenty assists by, by December or January, whatever it was. How do you not get one more assist for the re- rest of the season? I don't know because yeah. Olivier Giroud was man. was cheating him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you might as well hit up your number four, man. Well, my number four, or my next person. Yeah, your number four was um, it was two, man. So oh, shit, I said it. I said it, man. So you know, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we don't usually agree, but. We've done a few things, man. There you oh, go. Man. A few things. <laughs> so, so, nice, mate. Well done. You mean nice. <laughs> no, 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 I like it. Crowd, you see the crud that I got to mess around <laughs> with? Uh, I like First it. appearance back. Bex to Ozil, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what we're doing. Uh, oh, that's what kind of similar players. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Michael? What are you saying? So for me, um, this, is a, this is a bit of a different take, but I think if you look at this guy's goal scoring record, I think... For seven seasons straight, he scored 13, 15 goals plus. Um, he scored the most goals against the top four in the Premier League. I think it's impressive that he doesn't get I think he gets I think he gets a credit, but I think if you look at how consistent this guy's been for how long he's been, he's won a Premier League title. Um, it's Jamie Vardy. Jameson Vardy. He that. He went, no, and, and the other thing is it's non-league to the Prem. Yeah. 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 And if you look at, yeah, like you said, he's gone from know. non-league to the Prem. Um, he's won a Prem title when he shouldn't have won. I think his ability to score against the best teams, he's, he's up there. Um, I think he, it's, it's, it's surprising that bigger teams haven't tried to sign this guy. I think it, tried. I think he, he's loved Leicester. So he wants to stay? Arsenal tried to sign him. Do we him, try to sign? Arsenal tried to sign him. Do we try to sign Vardy? I think, I think he wanted to just stay at Leicester. stay at Leicester, yeah. I think he, teams he, he were interested out. in him and he was just like, like nah. Wait. Yeah, no, you go. For me, it's, you're a whole big man and you're still playing non-league and you get to the Prem. That's crazy. That's nuts. Yeah. That's like what I'm trying to get Jeremy to do, but he's not listening. <laughs> 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 nah, man, he won't listen to you. This guy... <laughs> He's 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 the type of guy that is consistent, you know. He eats his, uh, he drinks his what Red Bull, Red Bull. seven yeah. Red Bulls a day. He did that for how many years? <laughs> Look where he's now. I told you, non-league to the prem. That's yeah, that's it. There. All right, he's living Nuts. a lo- non-league life. So people at home, don't change your routine at all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not going wrong. You just need time. That's it. All so right. that's it. Yeah. For you guys, where does Vardy rank in terms of strikers ever in the Premier League? Because I think that's a, diff- a difficult question. His goal scoring record is phenomenal. He's won a Premier League. Probably the, it's probably the greatest ever Premier League win it's ever. Surrealist type stuff. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Ever, I don't, know if you can, I don't know if we can do ever right now off the, off the, off the cuff. Yeah, because I mean, it's like, how do we look at it? Because in terms of ability, people aren't going to say he's up there. So what, what tier is he in for you guys? Is he in the top tier? Is he in, is he in, who's, what players is he similar to for you guys? For, well, he'd have to be in a top tier. Cause I think if you look at the, his, what he does yeah. against the best teams, how consistent he's been. I think if you look at it as an overall package, he has to be, but I think it's hard to put him there because of how he plays. Maybe the team he's played for and a lack of titles he's won. Because consistency. Me, he has to be in there. I, I think there's a top tier. There's a tier underneath that, and that's where he sits. I agree. But then the who top, else? The who top else? tier for me is like the likes of Suarez, like the, the big, big profiles. The Suarez is the Henri's, the Torres when he's the Liverpool Torres. Aguer- I think Jamie Giro. Vardy Aguer- is Aguer- ahead of Torres. I don't know. Like maybe it's maybe it comes down to the star element. Who it has to be? But the, the, pro- the reason why the top tier is like there is because I also see, and I, that contradicts myself, because I was going to say like, I put Alan Shearer in the top tier because not many people talk he about it. He is in the top tier. Scoring, but then I, I was going to say- I think Alan Shearer is in the top tier. Me, Alan Shearer is top tier. tier. Absolutely. Uh, have you scored that many Actually, goals? Does Jamie Vardy rank ahead of Harry Kane for you guys? Or is Harry Kane ahead? No, Harry Kane for me is- th- That's a tough question because they're both doing the same thing. Well, Harry, Harry Kane has won. more- he's, he's, He hasn't won. Yeah. Harry Kane hasn't won. He's Harry got Kane more top goal scoring titles. Yeah, more goals. I think he's obviously a better- He's a more technical player. Mm. But I think in terms of like consistency- then it's like he has been consistent. Yeah. yeah. So I think Harry Kane takes it because he's a better player. Mm. But I think Harry, Harry Kane hasn't done exactly what Vardy has done in terms of he's won a Premier League. 
He's been the one of the main players that's won a Premier League in his in his team, and he scored. All right, my my teams. African friends, I got one for you. Who ranks higher, Jamie Vardy or Didier Drogba? For you guys, if we're gonna be if we're being honest, as right a now, player, you would take Drogba. Yeah, but, but I think if you if you break it down statistically, it's, it's, it'd it's have Jamie to be Vardy. Vardy. What for? <laughs> Jamie Vardy you know what scored for? Drogba, Drogba, goals. Had, Drogba had one, two, two maybe two, two, two amazing two seasons, but he yeah. still scored like eleven goals. I'm not <laughs> saying I'm not saying he's not better than Vardy because I'd I'd pick Drogba. But if you want to look at so stat, why, it's a stats, no, error. No, no, but he he asked stats, you the question. Statsman will be like, he, it has to be Vardy. He asked you the question. I answered the question. So you'd pick Jogba? He said Vardy. No, I said I said if if you look at it as who are who are who no, do no, I think no, is no, better? No, 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 not looking at in just your eyes. Question. Your eyes. I'm what, answering who, your who question. You pick, who you pick? I'm your answering eyes. your question. Yo. Yeah. Who's so who's the better prem striker in? For me, history Jogba. of Premier League. Just Premier Jamie League Vardy or striker. Didier Jogba. Who's the best better prem striker? Or prem? Just yeah. prem striker. Prem striker. Just just prem. Yes. It's got to be Vardy. Premier League striker Jogba. It's got to be Vardy, bro. Vardy's more one goals. Game. He's got more goals. <laughs> We're not talking about one-off game, bro. We're know, not talking but, about one-off game. But you're saying- We're saying Prem striker. Hey, you're picking this person for a reason. Yeah, what are you picking prem. Vardy for? You're he's picking him for because he can score goals. He's a phenomenal well, goal scorer. If you look at yeah. consistency, he has. Consistency, yeah, but- and if it's games, a one-off game, Drogba it's is different. A better, no, no, but Jogba is that's a better striker. Yeah, that's what we're saying. you'd rather have Drogba, we're saying Jogba is a better striker. But we're saying I would rather have Didier Jogba in my team. But who ranks higher in terms of Premier League striker best ever? That's my argument. On output, on performance and output, what? Vardy ranks higher, yeah, in that's, my opinion, and that's my argument. than Drogba. But Drogba, for me, I'm taking Drogba yeah, in same. any of my teams. Because if you think about it, right, no one would ever say Vardy, but if you look at consistency wise, his goal scoring record, his record against the top four, there's an argument that he should be in these conversations. If he was in he a better should. team, Absolutely. it's different. we're having a different conversation. He won a league I with think, Leicester. I think the team, the team that they both played for has a, a huge factor to do with of course, perception. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And that's, I think that's how I'm looking at it. Yeah, but I, I I'm not saying it's- Jogba is the better striker. Don't disrespect <laughs> yeah. him right now. Jogba is the better player. Because no, 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 like the guy. Rank, no, no, not the better player. Higher, it's because we like the guy. But who ranks higher? I don't know. It, should, it shouldn't just be goals that- who ranks, ranks goals? Who ranks higher? It shouldn't just be goals that rank you as better striker. Because Suarez, because Suarez, listen, Suarez only scored how many goals? What do you mean? In total, yeah, probably like sixty. Okay, so why why are we saying that? Because he scored sixty, he's higher than Jogba and Vardy. I don't know, but we don't know that if he played another five seasons, Four. he could have scored more or less. We don't know. What that. Mean? We do but know. We do we know, know that. We, no, no, we don't know. We don't know that if he played longer, he could have scored more. He Wait, tied who's the Suarez? record for highest goals yeah. before yeah, the yeah, season yeah. before, and then the year after he left at Barca, he broke. He was the golden boot yeah. in all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm gonna ask you this question. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you this question. Yeah, how many seasons did Jogba play in the Prem? I would say like five. It has. It has to be more than six. I think it's six. Right, cool, he came cool. back. Remember, he came back. Yeah, yeah but that's true. He, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. How yeah. It has to be seven or something. For seven is it five, seven years now? Yeah, I'd five, say seven. about seven well, years. Nah, longer he than was, that. So, mate, when, when what I'm saying is, back, he was what I'm saying is right. Three. Oh no, yeah. If we're looking at Vardy, yeah, yeah. He's only now. Jobu came back when he was thirty. Allow me. Allow. Yeah, go go. Why you next for man? Chill, man. Who hurt your feelings? Nah, likes the guy. Go ahead. Composure. I'm composed. That's why you can't play centre midfield. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Vardy, right? Since he entered the Prem, he's bagged 10 to 15 goals plus every single season, yeah? At least. He's mm. in the top five goal scorers that season. Mm. Now, when I'm looking at Didier, even though I like him more as a player, yeah. there's seasons where my man got, I may, I'm not, don't quote me on this. 11 crowd, goals. 11 goals. Under that, like he has goals, thirty-two games. That kind that's of that's a bit sticky. If you're the number one striker for a, a club like Chelsea as well, it's not like he's playing for a Leicester or playing for West Ham or playing for these youngers. He's playing for a big boy club. Mm -hmm. You're let challenging me, for the title. Even though they're, even though they're a 11? bit sticky, let me ask you this: Land, go. Who's a better Premier League striker, <laughs> Torres <laughs> or Jogba? Uh, no, look, you, 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 you you no, 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 we got to wrap this up because this is this is going Enough of that. Enough of that. Yeah. No, no, no. Let me spin my. Hey, I'm spinning my neck pick. We're not going to get food. All right, bud. Number three. We we can't. This is going to go for it. Number three. Wait, NJ, did you? What was yours? Mine was Vardy. 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 Oh, yeah, Vardy, sick. Yeah. I think there's a reason why, yeah, <laughs> Vardy goes in underappreciated <laughs> and Jogba Land. goes in the best straight away. That's that's my end argument <laughs> there. I like Jogba more, I'm telling you, I've told you that. 
Yeah, but yeah, there's a reason why Vardy's <laughs> in this list <laughs> and not in best strikers. Bro, man, something happened to you today, innit? Far out. What happened to him? You know, Red Bulls should be checked from now on. Asada, do your shit on Red Bulls because he's <laughs> effed up, man. Uh, my number three is <laughs> is could go in a list in many lists. He could go in best Premier League midfielders. Could go in best player, one of the best Premier League players not to win a title. Um, his name is. Musa Dembele oh. for Tottenham. First, I hear this technical ability. I no think one's pushing this guy off the ball. They, the reason why no one sees him as the good, a good midfielder or the, one of the best is because of what Tottenham did. So they bought all these players and he's been put in that group. <laughs> so because so many of them left and failed for Tottenham that he's in that group and that everyone's just overlooked him overlooked his ability on the field and what he can do and stuff he has done and been like, right, you came with Soldado, Pavlochenko, Chenko, who else? Uh, who was the other midfielder they signed? It was like Lamella, Paulinho. Yeah. Lamella, Lamella Paulinho. Paulinho. Like he came with um, all them <laughs> that now. Yeah, churches. He came, what's the other centre mid, the one with the beard, the big one. Um, That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Kapu, Kapu, Kapu. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, because he came in that money, period. Yeah, it, yeah it looks bail like money. He was with them. Money. I think that's why he was underappreciated. Now, nah, but then he also went to China after, bro. Like, like he but went no. to a he went to a league to make a lot of money. Yeah, he yeah, made a lot of 100%. money. hundred percent. But but he could have still gone to a bigger. He could go into a big club. Injuries definitely was a big part of his him not reaching his full potential. He played a lot of games. For, for and there's, like, but so many well, players he, he got, say that he was he had, injured a lot. He got injured, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, did, and he did. So many players would years. say he's the hardest player they've played. Hardest against. player, yeah. best trainer, best player on the training park. So it's technically, like, he was amazing. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think it definitely goes amazing. under the radar how good he was when he was at his best. 100%. But I think the reason, obviously, he's not in these discussions is because the consistency wasn't there, and he was playing for a side that never did anything. Yeah. So I think that's fair. But I get where you're coming from. Yeah. Let me, let me, oh no, you gonna, you gonna say something? Yeah, uh, do you want me to say mine or do you want to say something about that? You say yours, nah, I was done, I was done yeah, with Bud, right? you're done. <laughs> <laughs> mine? See, I got another big one. This one for me is one of the best centre backs of all time, in my opinion. The second best centre back of this generation, without a doubt, for me. He's still showing now at 37 years old oh, that he's, okay. he's performing at an extremely high level. Oh, one of the best centre backs in the Premier League now. People said to him they, he couldn't do it in the Premier League. That's why he didn't come. He came at 36 and, and is still performing. Pause. <laughs> Thiago Silva. Brazilian <laughs> genius. Brick wall. 5 foot 11. This guy is one of the best centre backs I've ever seen in my whole lifetime. I hear it. Do you think he's under underrated slash underappreciated? Yeah, I think it, that's why at I said his it. big age now, yes, <laughs> but not when he was. That's what I mean. AC Milan, no one young, good. Who, who puts Thiago Silva in the conversation of best centre backs ever? No one does. I think no a lot one of people, does, but it's, no one does. He and he completely deserves to be in that I think conversation because there's a lot of white noise. There's a lot of recency bias in the in that best ever. Thiago Silva. I'm going to get a lot of hate on TikTok. Tiago Silva is better than Rio Ferdinand. Tiago Silva no, is, stop, is stop, better than Nemanja Vidic. No, 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 no. Tiago Silva is better than Nemanja Vidic. No, 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 I'm going to get hate. I'm going to get hate from all the people that love the Prem. I need you to at this guy in the DMs. I'm going to get hate from the people that just deride the Prem. Rio. But Tiago Silva is a better player than Rio Ferdinand. No, he's not. He's a better player than Nemanja Vidic. He's a better player than John Terry. He's a better player than... Van Dijk. Van Dijk. <laughs> Career-wise, Thiago Silva to me is only second to to Sergio Ramos. He is better than all these no. players that he has no. gone at AC Milan. He was outstanding. He goes to PSG. Has he won Champions League? No. no. Yeah, yeah, Chelsea. Oh, with Chelsea now. Oh, yeah, that was yeah, his yeah, first yeah. one. Yeah, at PSG, that's he's that's one of the best. That's a hell. Did he play? Yeah. yeah, yeah. At PSG, he's one of the best centre backs in the world, if not the best centre back. Don't, there's levels to the centre back. Sheesh. Sheesh. Rio Ferdinand is is the most England England Bro, Premier League biased. King Rio being is better one than one of the best centre backs. In the okay, you King Rio is good. Just shows. Thiago Silva on the ball is one of the best centre backs I've ever seen. Probably the best centre back on the ball I've seen this in my Ramos, lifetime. I think he's better than Ramos yeah. on the ball, but. Defensively, he is he is oh, phenomenal. Oh, 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 oh. IQ, his, his reading of the game, oh. his IQ, his pace. At, when he was younger, only maybe the last couple three four years, Crowd, he's lost you need pace. To ask this guy, you got put and tell you, Rio. Why are you still stuck on Rio? 
<laughs> he's like, literally come like on, man. said other reasons. Like he's gone past Rio. <laughs> The Rio. bus stop of Rio has passed. Bro, you know, Why are you watch, still stuck on that <laughs> stop? Long is a long, bro. You, you lot didn't watch Rio. You lot did not watch Rio, man. Rio's not even the best in the, in, you in the Premier League. And he's the best name, in the back to play in the Premier League. He skipped. He skipped. Rio is the best in the back to play in the Premier League. Uh, that's, that's for another day, but we're saying <laughs> Thiago Silva. It's going to be interesting, man. Uh, you know what? I agree with you. At the, at the start, you. I was like, underappreciated. Because he played for Chelsea. That's why you agree with my man. No, 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 no. What do you mean? You got Chelsea oh, buyers. You can see what he's doing. Chelsea okay. buyers. You can see the difference he has at Chelsea at age 37. So I'm not saying he's not good. So for all the people that didn't no. watch him play at AC, that didn't watch him play at PSG, that didn't watch him play for Brazil, him. if you can see what he's doing at, at Chelsea at age 37, just imagine what he was doing for AC. And I'm telling you. Is he, he, is he, does he look good? Because the, the centre-backs are... Nah. Paolo Maldini came nah. out and said, when he was at AC, he's the best centre-back in the, in oh, the world. Cool. Yeah, he's doing, he's, it's a Chelsea right now as a big man playing five at the back. There's that tax there, like I was saying before, playing a low block. You did say I'm not that. saying he's not a good player. I, I agree tax with you. Tax only no, applies no. for someone who can't do land, it in a let four. Me land, let me he's land, done let me it land. in a four how many times? I'm telling you, I agree with what you're saying. But when you start to say better than Rio, I have to disagree there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because that's not true. What about, Rio? Enough, enough what about that. Rio makes him, what, what? Yeah, what why is, why is Rio nothing. better? He's just gonna say grit or something. <laughs> He's gonna say better in the air. Or yeah, something. that's it. Rio. <laughs> Rio, the reason why you're so dumb is you saw Rio playing. You're just gonna say it's because he's got coats on the sir Alex Ferguson. <laughs> that's all you're gonna say. Enough of that. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go to my next one. We yeah? can talk about Rio later. Now, I don't know if these youngers really were gonna know who this player is. Samuel might know, but definitely not this Chelsea boy here. <laughs> he was at United for maybe one or two seasons. Can't remember now. AC Milan. I remember he went after that. He played center back, left center back, and can play left back. Solid. No nonsense, no bullshit. Oh, yap yeah. stamp. Yap stamp. Uh, heavily every, underrated. Uh, yeah. People don't know how good this guy was. If you don't watch ball like Bud, <laughs> you don't know who this is. <laughs> you don't know who this is. Crowd, yap stamp, do your Googles. Get on them highlights. I know you like to get on them highlights. Do that shit. Bud, you too. What are you saying? Exactly. I, have, I haven't watched him play, so I, I have nothing to say. <laughs> this one may be a bit too archive for her, for the audience, but you know, yeah, we, we should have made this from, na- from from not from 1962, maybe a bit a bit further <laughs> up. Nah, from everything I've heard, I hear that Yap Sam was a big integral part of of that Man U side, and he was he was phenomenal. Some people, Yap Sam's better than Nemanja Vidic. I I co-sign that. Yeah. And but Vidic definitely does get more credit, so I can I can see where you're coming from. I co-sign that. What are you saying, Michael? For me, um, for me, this guy has won. I think it was like twelve titles in a row, three different leagues. Sheesh. He's a player for me that I think has gone under the radar somewhat. I think he's rated definitely, but I think his impact was a lot greater than people talk about. And uh, for me, it's Arturo Vidal. Um, oh shit! Okay. Yeah, for me he's. he's journeyman, yeah. yeah, for me he's he's, <laughs> he's been around. Um, he's years. a winner. I think as a deeper midfielder, excellent player. I think he adds too much. And I think if you look at um, Juventus, mm-hmm. I think when he's at Juventus, excellent. So yeah, he's a player for me that when we talk about top midfield players in the past ten years. I don't think people talk about him enough. They don't. And they, th- and they really should. Yeah. I think they really should. I think, I hear, what you're, I hear what you're saying. Because my man could never really settle on a position, like in, in a team, I, don't ha- I never really consider it. But that's probably why he's under, that's probably why you're in this list. I think for me, he's someone, there's a few players that initially I, I, I hated. And he's yeah. someone I, I definitely hated. And I, he, when he was getting his hype, I thought, why is he, why is he getting... But I think once when he was he was playing at uh, Bayern, I really, really, really got to see how like good of a footballer he is as a number eight box to box midfielder. Defensively, like so solid, and on the ball, his technical ability very, yeah, very high. I was surprised he could score goals. He could set up goals. I think Arturo Vidal is a great shout. Very good, MJ. So was it was it Juve? Bayern, Barca, Barca, Barca. Barca. yeah, Inter. Inter as well, yeah, yeah Inter. Inter after, and Barca. another Italian team as well. Oh no, Bayer Leverkusen didn't he play there for a bit? 
Yeah. Mm. Like, he's in, yeah, like yeah. this guy was just moving, moving to big clubs as well though. These aren't, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, these are big, big yeah, clubs. Yeah, for a reason as well. Phenomenal. These are big Bud. clubs, man, what are you saying? Is this number two now? Number two. My number two is someone who's been heavily, heavily, heavily disrespected lately. Uh, this maybe started from 2012, no, 13, up until now. I th he's, he's an active player at the moment, but he's, the disrespect this guy gets for no reason, like, is crazy. Mm. So my number two is Kalo Navas. Oh, yeah. That's a great chat. Yeah. The way this guy gets, <laughs> gets shipped from <laughs> yeah. teams for no reason. 100%. 100% is disrespectful and he does not retaliate does not come out in the Man media and say anything <laughs> yeah doesn't do anything nah. like he hasn't record. been performing you're, bad you're 100%, either you're 100% look at his record he gets he gets replaced by Courtois at, at Madrid after winning the Champions League with Madrid and was phenomenal for yeah. them then at PSG no no no, no. first it went to it was City wasn't it no, no. He went to City. He went to City. He went to City. Oh, what did I say? Howler. Hey, production. Real that shit. Production, real that shit. Howler. Oh, yeah, shit. I may have had a stink. I've been on the show for a minute. You get me? <laughs> hey, you're talking about board knowledge. <laughs> yeah. He's talking to me about board knowledge. About what's his name? Stamp or Stamp. Whatever. The <laughs> These guys talking about a player right now. Who's a goalkeeper? And he can't even think city. about it. Was it Bravo, Bravo. I'm confusing oh, my name with Bravo. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I hear you still crying out of stinking. Bro, that's <laughs> racism. <laughs> Bravo plays for Chile. Navas is Costa Rican. That's, <laughs> hey, oh, man, my Chilean bad. fans, Costa Rican fans, at this guy right <laughs> now. Man, the girl too, yeah, youth, come on. But yeah. Blue youth, <laughs> <laughs> Blue youth jump back at him. As I was saying. If you add him, I'll leak his real oh, name as well. Days. He then goes to PSG and he's, he's magnificent for them, especially in the Champions League. He was so good. Yeah. They bring in Donnarumma, who of course who? is younger. Donnarumma. You're saying that right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to get everyone now. Uh, yeah, he was, he was replaced again now and he just sits on the bench. He's a world-class goalkeeper and I Absolutely. don't think Kalon Navas should ever be sitting on a bench for any club. There's no way. He must be a proper like asshole <laughs> at training. He must do something. I think he's just a nice guy. I reckon he so smokes they, at training. Yeah, so they're just <laughs> like, all right, you sit on the bench. He's like, all right, man. All right. It has to be. It has to make sense. And the fact no one bought him, like no one wanted him. No one went for him. What's, yeah. What's, there's something we don't know. Yeah, it has to it's be. It's gotta be. But it's yeah, weird. That's a, that's a good shout. Uh, for me, my number two, man, I've only gone with big ones. Pause. I'm only doing. <laughs> I'm only. I'm only doing. I'm only doing the the best of the best here that are underrated. They're still very highly rated, but he's criminally underrated. He's only just now. Yeah. Only just now getting his 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 uh, applause. He's getting his his. Plaudits. Is that what's yeah, that? Yeah. 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 Plaudits. I'm going for Frenchman Blicky Benz, Kareem Benzema. Wow. The period between 2014 to 2018, where Cristiano Ronaldo is the main man, Benzema completely, completely, completely changes his game so that Madrid can stay a successful side. They can keep winning. Benzema doesn't score the amount of goals that he would score. And then the crowd, everyone's saying he's not a world-class striker anymore. He scored whatever, 10 goals. He scored nine goals. And then as soon as Ronaldo leaves, you see best striker in the world, Karim Benzema. Now he's, he's en route for a Ballon d'Or at age 32, 33. So if that's not, if that doesn't show exactly how good he is and what he's capable of, I don't know what is. Another example of why you should stick to your routine. <laughs> look at Vardy. Now look at Kareem. They haven't changed shit. <laughs> Just time. Give it time, people. That's all you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a tax there? Is there like a best player in the world tax? That like, it doesn't matter how good somebody is. There's always going to be a tax that has to play. Like for example, at Barcelona. Did anybody really have to sacrifice for Messi? Yeah. I'd say so. I'd say David Villa sacrificed some of his best, best years. years. Rakitic especially didn't get to show what he could do exactly going forward because of how much defensively he was covering for Messi. You'd say Samuel Eto in his last few years at Barca, those were his prime years, but Messi Dinho came in and he was, yeah. <laughs> Ronaldinho was, nah, sacri Ronaldinho was sacrificed. Ronaldinho was sacrificed. Yeah, definitely. 
There was, <laughs> <laughs> but there are players obviously that played with Messi who reached their highest and the yeah. the best they could ever reach because they were with him. I think he he the difference is he can make people better. Yeah, playing with him can make people better. Whereas Ronaldo, I don't know, because he takes away, especially if you're a goal scorer. Yeah, you're yeah, it's finished for you. Okay, okay, okay. So what am I chatting about now? This player, yeah. I don't even know what position he actually plays. This is your number two, yeah? Not my number two, just yeah. in the next in the list. Yeah, number two. Next the way in the list. Why are you getting away with this? <laughs> number two. I don't, I don't yeah. like this. Hey, bud, man, you, when you're a vet, man, understand this, bud. Hey, when you get, when you get Kelo Navas's I was a shooter before right. let him shoot again. Understand this, bro. Sheesh. Understand this, bud. Come on. I'll start listening when you get Kalo Navas' team. Come right. on, bro. Hey, them Colombians, them Chileans, chat to me, please. He's not even Colombian. <laughs> Costa Rican. Cut. Hey, Colombian, at, at him. Only the guys, but no women. <laughs> Yo, with this guy, right? For me, technical ability there. He was hit with a bit of injuries. Was in a big boy, I was at a big boy club. Played one Champions Leagues, one Leagues. Guti. Oh. Real Madrid. You like Guti. Cam can play there, can play deep, can play on the wing, can play false nine, left foot, free kicks, work rate was there, but he could never just nail like one position down. Mm. For me, if he was at maybe, uh, I don't know, if you're not in Madrid and you're at somewhere else, he probably becomes a star. He probably becomes yeah. crazy. Obviously he plays for Spain as well, does bits there. Did he win? Was he part of that? No, he wasn't part of the uh, 10. The, no. uh, that era was he? No, he was just before. The Euros. It was before that. Just before. Yeah. It? Yeah. He's he's more two thousand and five, six. Yeah, seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, He was for time. me. He was. There was a player there that nobody, yeah. that people don't talk to. Technical ability, not so good. Ish. Yeah, Gucci was, and him and Gargo were two players that they played together, and I thought they were both extremely, extremely good, and they're both extremely underrated. Nuts technique, but you know who that is Gucci. Yeah. The Real Madrid Don. Yeah, I just said I've been course, yeah. Bro. yeah, what's he look like? <laughs> He's Spanish, isn't he? Yeah, keep Sorry. going. Spaniard, Spaniard. Keep, keep going. Uh, play deep, could mm. play yeah, what's 10. What's he look like, bro? Yeah. I don't know what he looks <laughs> like. What do you mean? Yeah, what's he look <laughs> He's the guy that looks like, what's his name? Keep going. Hernandez. <laughs> which one, which Hernandez? The blonde one. Which blonde Hernandez? Yeah. Yeah. Pablo, Mexican. Yeah, he, he does look he, like you. He, he a bit. wore a thing. Okay, Headband. I'm just making yeah, sure, man, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. The FIFA right. one. Yeah. My FIFA my FIFA people will know you who know, I'm talking about. You're going to game here, you get me, man. <laughs> I'm putting you on. Holy <laughs> shit. Like you I said, Michael. When, when you answer Navas real nationality, <laughs> I'll start I'll start listing the names for you, bro. All right, my number two, I think it's somebody this is for me personally. Um it's somebody I've I think I've criticized more recently. But I think once once I've looked at his career, who he's played with, how long he's played, the kind of the titles he's won, he's won a World Cup. He's he's yeah, he's a phenomenal player that I, I think intentionally tried to 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 underrate, but it's Sergio Busquets. And I think the reason why I say that is because I think if you look at if you look at who he is, he used to piss me off. I he was annoying. Him, da, 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 da. He's annoying. But as a player and who he's played against, yeah. and I think he, I think if you compare him to like Xavi, people talk about Xavi way more. They never talk about, they won't talk about Busquets. It's Xavi, Iniesta. Mm. But at the heart of that team was, was Busquets. And if you look at the recent Euros, unbelievable. Phenomenal at unbelievable. 34 years old, bro. Well, unbelievable. If you look at the Barca team now, yeah. Him, Pedri, Gavi, Gavi. Yeah, he, it looks like he has not. His game hasn't changed. The, you know, in the, how long? The thing is, years. it's because it's a game that Incredible. never that never required athleticism. Never required him to be fast, get around the pitch. His IQ is. For me, that he's the best Insane. defensive midfielder I've ever seen in my life. Insane. He's one of the best midfielders I've ever. Yeah, better than Casemiro. Insane. One of the best midfielders I've ever seen in my life. For someone to dictate a game while taking two, three touches at a time. He's the most press resistant number six yeah. I have ever, 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 ever seen. You see players completely oh. give up trying to mark him. Yeah. 
completely give up. They can't get close to him. His body faints. His drag backs. He's he, he's skillful. He's a, he's a number six and he's skillful. He's like six foot world. four. His passing range was never the craziest. He didn't need to pass the ball extremely. What are you laughing at, cuz? <laughs> <laughs> Production didn't say. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't seen party play. <laughs> This is why you can't have Arsenal fans behind the camera, man. <laughs> Two. They're trying, to, com- oh, they're trying to compare be Thomas Arsenal Party fans. with Sergio Busquets. <laughs> but no. yeah, MJ. Yeah, uh, no, but for real. Yeah. For me, I think when you look at best DMs in the world, like or ever, or mm. like best midfielders, I don't think he gets, everyone knows how good he is, but I don't think he gets the he's that good yeah. type of recognition that I don't like him. I really. think. And if he does, it's not frequent enough. Nah, it's nowhere near. He should be in every conversation. Every in conversation. Like top 20 yeah. midfielders yeah. of our generation. Yeah. Top 10. And if he's not, Every conversation. Cap. What's the nice end of here? <laughs> What's wrong? I know, Busquets <laughs> is an elite baller. Like he's a he's elite, but I just don't like him. Denai probably likes Michael Carrick better than Busquets. Allow me. Michael Carrick's next for Denai. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Michael Carrick's a bad boy still, but no, he's not next for me. Now, nah, MJ, I agree with you. I think that's why I put him number one. So he was my number one. Oh, nice. I think- when you think of most underrated, when I thought of most underrated players, he was the first like, to come to mind. Yeah. I think only now he's getting a bit of yeah. recognition, but it's 15 years too late. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> he's getting it for the wrong <laughs> era. About maybe six years too late. It's five, yeah. six years too late. Close. But it's, yeah, it's about, yeah. All right, Sammy, what's your number one, man? Yours is, yeah. Who's Who's and I, the I number one, the same, sure. I didn't think Janelle will have it because he's, but the number one <laughs> most- <laughs> whoa, 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 You heard it, man, he said you're pagan. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Do you want me to repeat it? <laughs> you take that back, quick smile. You know D, what's he said you're pagan. Your production, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> production. That, that has to be the rudest. Make sure you put that in over. dump. <laughs> pagan. <laughs> put pagan first in dump. He got that from me, first of all. <laughs> uh, you can't diss me on my own. Yo, when we pagan. Continue. <laughs> I'm going to settle myself for this one because yeah. this, this is going to go viral on TikTok. Another million, this one. The most- I don't have this one then. Disrespected player, the most oh, underrated yeah. player oh, oh. of Fuck the off. history of football. It's not in the history, it's not The him. history of football. This generation's third best player. One of the most technically gifted, talented. Output wise, he's phenomenal. I test he's absolutely phenomenal. Doing things you've never ever seen a player do before. Brazilian magician, Neymar. For me, most disrespected player of this generation. I thought you were gonna say Tiago. <laughs> I was gonna fight. He's Spanish. If you said Tiago, I would have fought. Hey, crowd, you see that? Man said Tiago, he's, he's, not, he's not Brazilian. He is. <laughs> if he's the Spanish. real man of no, he is Brazilian. <laughs> so tonight, another howler. Ruda, Ruda. What country does he play for? That, oh. That's not nationality. I think it is. <laughs> that's a definition of. You're Australian. Yeah, and I play for Australia. What's your real nationality? Zimbabwe. <laughs> exactly. They got multiple nationalities. Ask the other one his real nationality is right now. Yeah, she's very Spanish. He, he plays for Spain. We're not having this right now. We're not having. No, this. for your Neymar. Yeah, let's go, Neymar. I will argue <laughs> anything there is to argue. I will argue with anyone in the world about this. Do you what? think though? Yeah, go. The disrespect is a disrespect that happens with all top, top, top players. Yeah. Yeah. You could say that. Ronaldo gets the same disrespect. Which Ronaldo? Fat boy. Not fat boy, sorry. Um, <laughs> you gotta stop calling him that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, dis- dis- that's too disrespectful. <laughs> that should, that- you can't talk to about one of the best number nines, if not the best, the number, best number nine about that. Call him a fat boy. No, but you, like, Cristiano Ronaldo gets the same dis- that disrespect. Sorry? He does. He does. He gets, Ronaldo gets, gets the same disrespect as Neymar. Not, not the same. Are we, are we taking the piss? He, what I'm saying he's is disrespected. Different, but he's disrespected. I'm saying like players that are that you, good. You probably disrespect him the most. Yeah. Players that are that good will disrespect Cristiano Ronaldo. The way Ronaldo. you just Also, then. the whole Messi versus not Ronaldo like argument. The same like, level. Neymar is so clearly the top three players of this generation yet. people. Some people won't even put him in the top 10. Some people won't even put him in, 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 top, in, 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 in discussions about the best player ever. Neymar is, is it, I test, is one of the best players uh, like I've ever seen. All you have to mm. do is literally watch a game to know that but he is phenomenal. What I'm saying is, see, you rank him super, super high, right? The last 10, 
we 10, 15 years, there's been two names that everybody's been speaking about. Yeah. Ronaldo, Ronaldo and Messi. Yeah. yeah. If you're not in those two names, for you to be the level that you're speaking to him about has to sit with those three names. Now you're saying he's the third. So he, he's a tier down, yeah? From yeah. that point, he's at that level. Yeah. So, so because he's at that tier down, that's where the disrespect happens. You Because you class him in that three. But everybody else in the world may class him a step below that. I, oh, yeah. I have it one. Messi's in a tier by himself. Ronaldo's in the next tier. And I think Neymar's close. I think Neymar's closer to Cristiano Ronaldo than Cristiano Ronaldo is to Messi. But then where does Sheesh. the underappreciated and underrated- Yeah, that's what I'm saying come? is- Not from me. I don't underrate him or underappreciate him. It's no, from What's like the comment? Yeah, think, what's the- yeah. Neymar, with you, he's probably the third bro, I just player. saw the other day, people say that they would take Salah over Neymar. And that's something that, that happens. They would no, take no, Mohamed no, Salah. No, no, see, if people that are saying that you don't, don't know ball. You don't listen you to that. You can't listen to that. But it's, it's, not, it's not uncommon for people to say that they would take other players over Neymar. It's not uncommon. I, uncommon. I don't think- I, I think it's always been one, two, three. No, nah, it hasn't. So it what hasn't. are the- Maybe do you guys- What are the but common themes of him being disrespected? For me, it's, it's, it's they, they say he's consistency. Yeah, which isn't true. But which isn't true because yeah. every time he plays, his consistency with playing, maybe sure, because yeah. he gets injured a lot. Yeah. But his consistency in terms of, he's, every time he plays, he performs. Every time he, every season he has, he scores, he gets assists. He's in, in the last 10 years, he's been in the, the top 10 for Ballon d'Or every year except one. Okay, question for you. Is there a farmer's league tax? Um, Is there a tax from no. going from Madrid, no, but I'm sorry, from Barcelona, big boy team, mm -hmm. with Messi and Ronaldo, trying to go and do it on your own and be the star, get away from- But the argument, get, yeah. Get away from them and try to do it in Paris and not being able to completely do it in Paris. Yeah, you've won French leagues, but everybody's, there's always a tax on that. When yeah. it comes to Champions League, it hasn't quite landed. They went to the finals. He was a big part of that. Mm -hmm. He hasn't quite been able to just tick the box of I've carried I this agree. team. I agree. Does, does, that, does that Farmers League argument, is it redundant then? If the argument is because he hasn't won Champions League, he's, he's, he's not- won Champions League. No, as in, not with them, as yeah. in, in, in Paris, does, yeah. that, does that matter that he plays in the Farmers League or not? Or is it a matter of he's underwhelming because he hasn't performed in, in the Champions By League? By himself. By himself. I, I feel like he has performed in the Champions League. Alone. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But absolutely. his team just isn't if on you, the level. If you isolate that one season at PSU when they made the final and lost, he was one, that's one of the best Champions League runs I've ever seen by a player. He was so, so, so good. He put the team on his back for the majority of those games. He, he completely transformed his game into playing as a number 10. He drifted off the wing, was working so hard, picking up the ball deep, receiving, creating, scoring, doing everything for the team. But as the, if you don't have the winning medal at the end of the season, no one's going to care. Yeah. But I, th I feel as though that doesn't happen for everyone else. R9 is still regarded as one of the best players of all time and he never won a Champions League. So for me, and Neymar's won a Champions League. Do you th the disrespect comes from people who get angry because he, he dives or get angry because he goes down easy or get angry because he likes to party or get angry because yeah, he changes his hairstyle, moved for 222 million to PSG. That's where, that's where some people... Dis the disrespect comes from. But if you're talking about a player, there is no reason he should ever be outside of, of this generation, the top five, let alone the top three. Yeah, I think in terms of like disrespect, absolutely. I think he's one of the most, or if not the most disrespected player right now. Mm. Absolutely. Don't know who's yours, my friend. Mine's not in an order, like I said before, you get me. So for number one. It's not in an order. Denai's number one. <laughs> from so me growing up as a youth, Bad boy striker. TM. This guy's play on the ball, off the ball. Uh -huh. He actually ended up moving to Chelsea and had an absolute stinker. Okay. For me, Andrei Shevchenko is underrated for what he could do in Italy. Amazing. One of the best strikers, in my opinion, one of the best strikers to play ball. To mm. play ball. Movement off the ball, finishing ability. <laughs> that partnership with Crespo, <laughs> sick. Inzaghi coming off the bench, sick. I studied his play to a T. Bud won't know about this guy. Uh, I definitely know about Shevchenko. <laughs> you do? Oh, when he came to Chelsea, if he came to Chelsea, worry. it was an absolute, sorry, Sue, man, I'm having a conversation here with the boys. When he came to Chelsea, <laughs> <laughs> did I treat Siri like his girlfriend? <laughs> sorry, babes. <laughs> sorry, Brown. Chelsea, absolute stinker, but me as a striker growing up, doing a lot of film, studying the movement, positioning, 
You think you're time. number one most underrated player ever? No, Chef Shake. Mine's not in well, order. I told you. It has to be yeah, number one. Be, yeah. no. Why would you not think of <laughs> the five you had? And why wouldn't you think of just the person that you'd put last because I put they him in would order, be bro. the most underrated? <laughs> yeah. Put him in order. There we go. It's no, order. I, I put myself <laughs> in order. People at home, you just saw it. <laughs> the nice number one pick is Chef Shanko. The thing is, how old that, I bro? think he was. Chef Shanko's underrated, bro. He was bro. top level. Of course he was. I mean, he went he, he, he went there on it. It wasn't a joke thing. It wasn't a joke. No, it wasn't. It was, <laughs> I think was, it was an absolute wasn't that world up. record fi- signing at, at the, the time? time? It was, yeah. it was, at the time, it was. It was Abramovich is big as yeah, it was, uh, yeah. buy. It was yeah. an absolute stinker going to Chelsea. But and I don't think, know why he did it. But for me, like AC Milan, Andrei Shevchenko. Yeah. And I think it gets tamed by that move. But that, f- that flop. Oh, it was a flop it, and a half. It's, exactly. So it's a flop. It's not because... I'm not putting it down to this. I'm not putting it down to just that. I know, but I'm saying it's- Like if you were to tell it me- his own, It was his would you own ever, doing. Would you ever think about Andrei Shevchenko as one of the top 10 strikers nah. ever? Nah. And I, nah. even after you name no. it, I will still continue Definitely not, not to. Yeah. Fair enough. I think it's, for me, it's more personal because that's literally, I studied yeah. that, I studied yeah. the way he played. I get, I get that. But from a homework standpoint, from a football yeah. standpoint, I studied yeah, the way yeah. he played. And for me, it was- I think his level was, yeah. Cause I, like I agree, when I grew up, my dad was like, watch this guy, Shevchenko. Elite, like he was elite, but yeah. I think where I disagree is when he went to when he went to Chelsea. I think he it just didn't work. I think the not, not, exactly. not because he was, was underrated. I think he just went there. He was rated. He that's was what goal I mean. Scoring. He was the guy. Big fee. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but then he it just didn't work. Didn't work for I, me. It was style of play. Yeah. It was the league. It just didn't. It just didn't. It just the mats wasn't mats in. I think Denai saying he's. He's underrated now because his time at Chelsea was he's, he's looked at. He's because his time at Chelsea was so bad. But we're not looking at how good he was in Italy. Yeah, I think that's what he said. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm fair. saying. That's a, I mean, yeah. I, I like, like for example, Torres. Torres is amazing at Liverpool. Yeah. But if you think about his Chelsea career, it's like fuck. He was wasn't that great. But that mm. doesn't make him underrated though. No, but people are remembering Andre. Did Shevchenko. I saying that that Shevchenko should be in discussions? That I think he's not that in that Shevchenko. Moment. Don't don't think of his Chelsea time. They they think of his like you like yeah they yeah, think of his old time so I'd say so yeah. then they wouldn't think he's but underrated think for me but they think he's like he's you saying, said top he's saying he should be in discussions that he's not for me he should be in discussions I'm saying no one's thinking of that Chelsea time for him to be disrespected no one's disrespecting him because of the Chelsea time people chatting about that bro I think if anything Torres is more disrespected because of his Chelsea time yeah mm. than Shevchenko was yeah it Rats. was it really was that's it man Andre Shevchenko that's me right there. so yeah my number one um. Back to the Prem for this one. I think if you look at a player, if you look at a player United, mm-hmm. he came, he was playing first team football at 15, 15, 16. He went to United and was at the level of the guy who's now one of the goats of the game, top two in the game. I think if you look at the way he he, he was able to progress his game, I think if you look at how good he was technically, oh, this agree. guy was... I think for me, he's one of the most underrated Prem players. I agree. And it has to be Wayne Rooney. I definitely agree. That's a um, big one. If That's you look at, if you look at goals, he, he's, he's scored goals. He's had seasons where he, he didn't have the numbers, but I think if you look at his impact on the team, huge. I think he was able to not only be a goal yeah. scorer, he could, his work rate was super high. Technically, technical ability was outrageous. Anywhere, he could play 10, he could play left wing, he could play nine, he could play hold up nine. He could play center midfield. He could play, if you wanted to, he could play center mid and break dudes all day. He yeah. was, pause. For me. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, crap. Yo. You could make a highlights of this episode uh, of what just What kind of episode pause. is this? No, no, just it's because he's next to me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What kind of episode him. is this today? Wow. I had to protect him, you know? Oh my God. But um, yeah, for me, Wayne Rooney, I think he's, yeah, he's, he's criminally underrated. I think the, how good he, I think people are started, starting to realize now and talk about it now. Mm. But I think, you know, in terms of United, he was on Ronaldo's level for the most part. And obviously um, Ronaldo just took off, but he was, yeah, his game was He's the best player one of the most complete game. forwards. I think you, you know, one of the most complete forwards, I'd say. I'd say he's a, I, I honestly, think that Wayne Rooney is the best England player ever. The best player to play for England ever. And I think that he's definitely a top five Premier League player ever. You have a guy who who came uh, onto the scene at whatever, 15, 16. Banged against Arsenal. He was under pressure for, he, he was under pressure and scrutiny his whole, whole yeah. career. That Euro 04 
Him and I think he replaced was it Michael, he, he had a Heskey big, or Michael big, Owen he was replacing for. Big, yeah. big Euros, World Cup. Him and Ronaldo had that beef at the World Cup. And yeah. It's going to be interesting about them coming back to training. Kept on going. Kept, bro, he played, when he, they needed him to, he played right mid. He played left mid. He played striker. He played center forward. He played center mid. He Whatever. played 10. And elite. anywhere you put him, he was phenomenal. He wasn't just one of them players where you, 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 you Utility. put him there and yeah, no. right. He was elite. Yeah. yeah. You put him there, he's everything. phenomenal. Everything and anything he you the, needed. He does the dog work. Have you seen the, um, I don't know if you've seen the highlight where he's playing at DC United, actually. Oh, I did see that one. Oh, back, my. Wins all the way back. The ball from a, I think the goalkeeper yeah. goes free, then pings a 40 yard yeah. ball when the guy scores. Like, yeah. This dude just had everything to his game. Yeah. He was elite. Yeah, he's for me. Waza. Yeah, coach's best friend. Y- if you have a guy, you can put him at nine and he can score you 20 goals a season. He's, he's, he's insane. So, uh, from five to one, what's your five, bud? So, my five was Jermaine Defoe, followed by Miranda at Atletico, Musa Dembele at the three. Kalo Navas and Busquets at You're the one. You're doing a starting five. <laughs> <laughs> so for me at the five, <laughs> at the center, Adebayor. Then at the four, we've got Mesut Ozil. Then at the three, Thiago Silva. Then at the two, Blicky Benz. And then at the one, Neymar Jr. Crowd. There's no five, four, three, two, one. It's collective. You get me. Nah, that's cap. <laughs> how how can he, how can he say that? And then when he puts someone one, for instance, <laughs> try to defend him at one. Yeah. With, Andre with, Shevchenko, Guti, def- Beckham, Yap, Stam, and Mirza Dozil. Collective. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's all right, man. It's all right, guys. My five to one: Thomas Muller, Mr. Vardy himself. Arturo, Busquets, Wayne Rooney. Sheesh. That's a nice list you got there, Michael John. Is this, the, is this how you Y'all do the youth? Lists. This just shows CR7, the parasite, has ruined <laughs> two careers, Rooney's and Benzema's. They could have been the world's best players ever. Uh, but now they got trophies to back their argument. Back to Mundo. All right. Slam shoe. It's good to be back, yeah? Back again. Sorry, Dan, I hope I didn't, you know. Nah, man, it's all good, bro. It's good to have you, though. Why are they sitting so far apart? Yeah. You know what I mean, man? <laughs> <laughs> this is just, you know? so Why are you scooch <laughs> so far in this corner now, away from MJ? Bro, did you see what my mouth was moving like? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, but, you know, back again with another episode. The team, Jeremy's sick. He'll be back soon. Just let him shoot. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. That's the Millie episode, baby. Run up the TikToks, run up the YouTube, run up the Instagram. You know what it is. We'll reply. We yeah. always do. Let's go. Peace. Peace.